hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is sky tech digital now in today's video i'm, I'm going to show you how you can be able to um, enable or add this location picker on your website so let's say you have an e-commerce website okay and then you want people to uh, to choose their location whenever they are on the um, checkout page okay so after filling all the details that you want to do the shipping location you want them to uh, to choose it okay and it's very simple for you to add this um, you know location picker on your website now i'm going to show you step by step how you can be able to do it with ease okay so stick with me don't go anywhere and then let's jump into the video Okay, guys so to make sure that we have a location picker on our um, checkout page all what we need to do is to install a plugin so what we're going to do is um, we go to our dashboard over here and then at the back end we scroll down and then we look for plugins over here okay so i'm going to look for plugins over here and then i'm going to um, click on add new okay so now that we are over here we are going to search for a plugin called location um, picker okay so i'm going to look for location picker location picker on the checkout so um just you know we're going to look for this one of a location picker at checkout okay so this is the plugin that we are looking for and then what we want to do is uh, to click on what install now over here so we're going to click on install now and then we are going to click on activate to activate the plugin okay so we will be um you know brought to this screen over here now you can decide to allow and continue or you can skip i'm going to click on skip and then we'll um you know be redirected to this um location picker with um you know dashboard over here so this is a uh, um all the settings for the location picker you know that you need to do so the main important thing is um for us to what, enable it and then also and also um you know insert our google map apis over here okay now um to get a google map api key all what we need to do is um just click on this one over here now you'll be redirected to this page over here okay so um this page gives you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to be able to get the google map with api key okay so um we're gonna click on this one as you see step one over log into the google cloud platform so we're gonna click over here to log into our google cloud with platform so click over here now for those of you who don't have google cloud um you know platform it's very simple just go to a console.googlecloud.com and then um you would have to sign up and then also need to you know add your what your billing details and everything and then um you'll be able to use what google what cloud console okay so when you get to google cloud you know console um you it's gonna redirect you to maps and then it will tell you to what um you know add your billing and other things now i've already you know done that because i have a lot of projects ongoing using google cloud you know platform so when you are over here now um you need to what go to you know the um the libraries and then the apis to what to activate some apis so as you can see i have enabled some apis over here okay i have the place api I have the maps sdk for ios i have the maps um, you know javascript api i have geolocation api i have geocoding api and i have what directions api now what we need is just maps javascript api and then geolocation api okay so you can um you know go with apis over here go with the apis over here just click on it all right guys so when you come to apis over here now you see um all the apis you know listed over here okay now for yours i know maybe it's not enabled but for those of you who already use um, google cloud you know that it is what it is you have already enabled some already but if it is not enabled like what i told you we are looking for is what the maps um javascript api so this is the api that we're gonna look for so just you know you're gonna click on it now when you click on it definitely it's not going to be on enabled what apis over here you're gonna click on it and then um you have to what enable it okay so now let me let me go to you know apis over here and then i'll show you how you can what you can enable some of the you know like let's say you want to what enable uh, maybe roads api okay so you click on it right now like this 
and then you're gonna go to the that particular api sword page and then you have to click on what enable to what enable it so guys as you can see this is how it's gonna be like okay so you're gonna click on what enable over here then you what you enable it okay and that is it and that is how you what you enable all the two particular what api so maps javascript api and then geocoding what api so we will be using the um, the geocoding api and then the maps javascript api now if you are confused about it you can go to your um you know your back end of the website over here now click over here it will take you to um you know the apis that the web um the the plugin wants you to uh, to enable okay so as you can see um it will take you through the the tutorial okay so you will see that um it will tell you to what uh, enable two apis okay so the maps javascript api and then um this one which says so uh, geocoding what api okay these are the two um you know um apis that you have to what uh, um enable okay now after you enable these two um apis okay after you have enabled them now we're going to go to credentials over here okay so you can look through the what um you know the you can look through the the um the steps over here step four says what we have to go to what credentials okay so we have to what um go to credentials and then we have to what um select the two you know um api once both are enabled click on credentials in the left and then create what credentials and then we do what we um you know create an api for it okay so what we're going to do is um after we click on credentials over here okay we have to what click on create credentials this one over here okay so just click on it and then click on this one which says what api key okay so we're going to click on what api key over here so we are creating um you know a new api key or an api key for our what our um project that we are out we are doing okay so um this is the api key that you what um we, we enabled okay what we need to do is just copy this api key over here and then go back to your dashboard over here and then we're going to paste that particular api over here okay so we're going to paste it over here now once that we've pasted it over here now we go through this settings the ones that you want to enable you enable so it says what detect customer location on checkout page load so you can click here to, uh, to detect customer location and then enable clickable icons and then also remove plus code um, you know from address so you can do all those things now when you think everything is okay for you all what you need to do is to click on what save changes over here to save the what the changes that you've what you've done okay so remember that the provider is what google maps okay that is the most important thing okay guys so now that we've what we've saved our changes now of course you can go through you can go through the general settings over here now let me let me close this one you can go through the um you know the general settings over here you can go through um, the display store locations visibility rules shipping and then what export so you see this is what these are the general what the general settings okay and then if you look at um you know the display also how you want to uh, display it you can click on it and then we'll show you how you what you display it okay so where do you want to what display so where should the map appear on the checkout okay so where do you want the map to appear so you can click over here and then what um wherever you want the map to what appear you what you select it so um billing address or shipping what address bottom okay shipping address bottom so i want the shipping address to be what to be bottom and then um you know the coordinates okay enter default coordinate so um you can enter default what coordinates what over here okay so depending on your location you can enter default coordinate over here and then you know the zoom in you can also increase it and then also the background color of everything you can do it and if everything is okay just click on what save over here now you can go to a store locations also so click on store locations and then let's see the settings under store locations so um click on store locations also and then you can what you can enter your what your store um you know locations okay wherever you have you can enter all those locations over here okay so if you have a local and icon um, url this one is a pro version so we're not going to go but then you can enter the store locations over here okay and then you add your what your location and then show on map you can select it and everything okay but i'm not going to go through all these things 
all what i need is what i've added my what where i want the map to display and then i've also added my what my api key my google map api key so now what i need to do is um let me go to my website over here now i've added some you know um, product to cut i want to go straight to a checkout okay to see if you know the what i really um did has what taken effect on the checkout place so we're going to the checkout and then we want to see if we can see um you know what we did the location picker if it has what it has really taken effect over there so let's wait for it to load and then um, we see what we do so um you know this is our checkout so um you know our city our town everything is what um, this is our billing with details. So we're going to go to next over here. And then as you can see, this is what um, the shipping address. But I still cannot see. Let me see. Yeah, so you see over here, since we are shipping to a different thing over here, it's supposed to appear over here. Okay. So as you can see, at the moment you click on what ship to a different what address which is different from your what your billing okay it will what it will show over here so this will be your what the map okay you select the map okay as you want and then um you know you can click over here to say what detect current what location so as you can see i'm located over here okay and that is what my current what location in accra over here so um this is where my office is so those of you who want to come and visit you can want to come over here okay so you see over here exactly um you know the the map really what works on the what on it so now you have your what your map picker over here now you can decide to what um go ahead to enter you know your address and everything and then um your region where you are located the region i'm located in greater accra okay and then the zip code and everything and then i'll click on what next okay guys so this notice is um, a notice that you see if you are what you are at me okay don't worry about this notice now you can turn it off um, by going through what the tools over there and then um, you go to what sub menu and then you what you see it over there so as you can see it says what hide what check out notice you can click over here to what, to hide it okay so now if i um, save it over here and then i go to you know the checkout and then i refresh it i'm not supposed to see this what this notice anymore so if you're wondering how you can hide this now remember this notice is only seen by what by admin okay nobody else can what can see it now you know what happens is what i'm using over here is what a uh, multi-step what checkout um you know process okay that is why you see this um one two three four okay so the billing the shipping the order and then with the payment okay so um the billing is done now we we'll go to the shipping now as you can see over here you need to select ship to a different address before um you can be able to what you know see the what the checkout what um the the location what picker now if i click over here to detect my what my current location is supposed to what um you know detect that current what location okay so it's gonna what detect the current what location for me now if i if i fill everything if i'm done with everything let me choose greater Accra over here if i'm done with everything and then i move forward to what um, next okay now as you can see i cannot see the what the notice again okay now i can go ahead to the payment itself and then um you know i can decide to what um decide to you know pay later or pay with what wallet okay so if i pay with wallet over here now um i can go ahead to what to place you know say what i have read and agree to what the terms and conditions and i can go ahead to what to place what the order and if i go ahead to place the order um when it is done and the order is received i'm supposed to what, get the notice over here and as you can see this is what the shipping um, location which the um you know the website owner will be able to uh, to see it and then what um you know um send the what the uh, 
the address the um, how do you call it send a parcel to the what to the person over here so this is how you can be able to what, add this location picker on your what on your website okay so if you go to the back end of the website over here and then you go to um you know um orders over here let's go to orders over here now you should be able to what, see the order that you thought um the person have what have made okay so as you can see this is what processing so now if i click on um you know the order um let me click on the order uh, let it finish loading here yeah? let me click on the order over here now if i click on this order over here i'm supposed to see the other details and everything okay and as you can see this is what the location okay i'll see this what location over here now i can be able to what, ship the thing to the pattern using this what um particular what location over here okay which is what very very um you know simple to use and easy to, the most important thing is for you to have what for you to have um be able to access what this google um you know api key over here okay so you should be able to uh, able to create google um cloud or google maps what api key if you're able to create the google map api key then you are what you are good to go okay so you'll be able to um, showcase this one on your website so this is how you can be able to showcase um you know the location picker on your website with every woocommerce what website okay thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye